I'll be completely honest, guys, I was literally freaking out as I was seeing these images come forward. So apparently the Kilowatts was able to locate a Tesla semi-prototype headed from Fremont to Giga Nevada, at least that's allegedly where it was headed. And it actually had quite a few design changes, which I'm very excited for because I hate to burst your bubble, but of all the Tesla semis we've spotted over the years, they've pretty much all been the same two that Tesla initially unveiled back in 2017 when they had their semi-truck up. Event. Some people forget that there were semi trucks there because the Roadster kind of stole the show But personally, I was still a lot more interested in the semi itself probably because it was cheaper And also it's just cool, you know It's gonna be safer better for the environment better for emissions and change the world with class 8 trucking Which is just so different from the rest of the Tesla lineup. That's why I'm so pumped about it But, but yeah, this new design we can see which may or may not be finalized We don't know for sure if this is a production model But it has a different door handle than the original prototypes which had the more three slash wide style door handles that you kind of put your thumb in the right place and open it up. With these, they are a bit more embedded and minimal looking, and I think they look great. They're very clean, and Tesla seems to have all kinds of different door handle designs, whether it's the push-out method we saw on the Model S and Cybertruck, probably don't keep calling it that, the Model X method, which is push in, where you just press and then the whole thing opens. Model 3 and Y is kind of a little bit of both. You push in and pull out at the same time, and then Tesla Semi now gets a whole new kind of door handle, which seems to embed itself really well into the door. Probably fairly simple for truck drivers to get used to. And also, we notice a little bit of difference with the windshield, which has caused so many issues with Tesla and copyright law. But either way, I'm pretty sure it's patent trolling that other companies are doing. But yeah, the windows stretch a whole lot farther back, which is a bit interesting. It makes me wonder if this was a really, really early prototype or if this is a next generation semi, because for one, none of the renders Tesla has ever shown of the semi have had it in white. And this is the first time we've actually seen, you know, a pearl white Tesla Semi. And seeing that glass go all the way to the back and stretch between multiple different panels is cool. It makes me wonder if there's some type of uh, cabin back there where people can sleep but still look out the Semi if they need to. I'm not sure. The headlights do look a bit darker as well. And the tail lights have a bit more of a traditional design than compared to the actual Tesla Semis we saw at the unveil. And to keep you guys updated on the situation with the Tesla Semi, it seems like my theory theory that I talked about in my last semi video might end up being correct because I was suggesting that even though Tesla originally stated they wanted the Tesla semi to be built at Giga Texas, my thought process was that yeah maybe someday down the line but for now they'll actually want to build a few at Giga Nevada because that is a battery production plant and they're already apparently going to be building 4680 cells out of Giga Nevada and they don't need a ton of space for the semi truck because it's probably going to be one of the most low volume vehicles Tesla ends up mass producing. But on their latest earnings call, they did say they expect to deliver the first Tesla Semi later this year. And on that earnings report, they have removed the Tesla Semi from the Giga Texas location. Now it's listed under to be determined, which makes me believe that since this Tesla Semi prototype that was spotted is headed towards Nevada, that's probably where at least the beta production line is going to start. They're gonna mass produce a few for their own testing needs and then probably build a few for actual customers by the end of 2021, which is really exciting because they're very late on this, but I still think the Tesla Semi is going to make a massive difference in people's public perception of how powerful and how practical electric vehicles can be. It's not just about little compact sedans or little compact smart cars that you just need for driving across town, but no, if Tesla can actually start mass producing electric vehicles that can haul tons of heavy cargo across great distances, which Elon has said more recently that the Tesla Semi range could probably probably exceed 600 miles, and that's with a full payload, that could, I think, change a lot of people's thoughts on how electric vehicles can be used in day-to-day -day life and how big an impact they can make. And now seeing that they have moved the Tesla Semi out of Giga Texas for construction makes me think there's a decent chance of them building it at Giga Nevada, or maybe there's just some closet out at Fremont that they can build some of the shells for and slap in some of those Cato Road batteries so that they can get these things out ASAP. But yeah, either way, it's exciting to see Tesla 
Tesla making some moves on this. I'm glad that they're tweaking the design. It means that there's still energy and efforts going into this. I'm sure that the battery pack has to be completely redesigned with the semi as well because 4680s are kind of optimized to be a structural battery pack, but the semi is going to end up using such a massive battery pack that how structural can it really be? I'm not sure. But on an unrelated note, I know this doesn't really matter at the end of the day. The last time we saw the Tesla Semi interior, it had two 15-inch displays, the same looking screens that we see in the Model 3 and Y. And now that the Model S and X have been refreshed, I would kind of love it if they could get two 17-inch screens. So that landscape display they have in the Cybertruck and the S and the X, just put two of those in the Semi. You know, this is going to be a $150 to $180,000 Class 8 truck. It's going to have a state-of-the-art, very different interior from the rest of the vehicles. So just give that thing some big honking screens so that those side view cameras and the visualizations and everything are going to be really easy for the driver to see. I think it's one of the most dope looking Tesla interiors of all time because you're centered and you've got dual monitors set up in that just king of the road position. So either way, I hope they tweak it in that regard as well. What changes would you guys like to see brought to the Tesla Semi? When do you think it's going to start hitting city streets? Feel free to let me know. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have an excellent rest of your day. Take care.